Yeah, hey, Jason, with the uh, injury to Mac, could you kind of go through the, the state of your position at the moment? Yeah, hi, Jake. We, uh, we've had great competition through camp. And so we've been rolling people anyway, even when Mac was in, because we wanted to see what we had, like we've spoke about before on our Zoom press conferences. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, competition, top to bottom. So we've been rolling our group. Uh, we have, what's been impressive about our group is their ability to communicate. So we've, we've moved different players to different positions and see how they speak uh, to each other and how well they can function. Because it's our job to get the defense lined up and be, the, of course, the in-between between the D-line and the, and the DBs. So BJ Goodson has done a great job being a pro in the room, running the show, running and hitting and lining everybody up and really getting in front of the huddle and, and being confident and taking advantage of his opportunities. Uh, Tay Davis has done a nice job getting stronger in the offseason, really working. He's shedding blocks well, and he's playing all three positions. See owning Takitaki is, is a ball of energy, and he loves contact. He's gotten better and better and better at his space movement. He had a great day of practice yesterday. Jacob Phillips, is uh, he really loves contact, and he's fast. And like any rookie, sometimes he's fast the wrong way, and sometimes he's fast the right way. But what's great about Jacob is he's a one-time correction young man. You tell him, he writes it down, he analyzes it, and uh, learns from his mistakes. Uh, Willie Harvey, working his way back off an of injury, is fast, loves contact, and uh, has done some good things. Montrell Meander is another guy, fast, love contact, and uh, learning the linebacker position. But, but he's learning how to shed blocks and improving. And Solomon Ajayi is very, very smart. So if you're ever going to be a rookie free agent in a year without an offseason, uh, you got to be wired like Solomon. He makes very few mistakes, and he's tough. Great. Our next question is going to go to Tom Withers. Tom, your line's open. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Coach. Hey, you touched on it just a, a minute ago with BJ. Um, we can't help but hear and, and see him out there. He's kind of flying around and very energetic. What does that mean to the group, though, to have that kind of guy in, in kind of that leadership role? Well, the, the first commandment of our linebacker mantra is run and, and shed, and he does that. It, he's been great. He's, he knew there's an opportunity, and he's just a pleasure to be around the classroom. He, he writes notes, asks questions, and then he gets on the field, and, and he does what guys you want guys to do. They fight, and they go to the next play. What I mean is whatever happens on that play, he's right back in front of the guys with energy, running, doing the things we want to do, attacking the ball. Like where he is, like where he is, and, and proud of where he is, and, and just keep doing that every day. Thank you. Marla Rednauer, you have the next question. Uh, yeah, Coach, when you mentioned about Taki Taki's great day of practice, I mean, we saw him chasing down Baker, but I mean, what what did you see there that you thought was so good? And is he is he kind of taking it to the next level from what you saw on film from last year? One of the hardest things to do at the linebacker position sometimes is let things go because you're right in the middle of everything. You know, we call the position's name linebacker because you're backed off the ball, you're right in the middle. So Sione's done a nice job of focusing play in and play out. You know, we, we have a phrase that uh, Takeo Spikes, great linebacker that I was fortunate enough to work with, used, and that's the next play is the best play. And that's one of the things we're using because Sione's so explosive and he'll see things and he'll take it. And if he didn't make it in the past, then he might be thinking about that at the next play. But Sione just focuses. And, and you know, when he, when, he's, when he sees things, he will go and he will hit it. And the, the better he gets at play in and play out doing that, the better he's going to be. And you mentioned, you know, how Phillip, Phillips is picking up things, you know, one time. You know, is it asking too much for a rookie like him to – you know, play a lot right away. I mean, do you see like what you see as far as his ability to get a get some good snaps in the regular season? I think we've we've first it started with with our young men in the room. They did a good job this offseason of really learning the position, not just the Mike linebacker or whatever you want to call the the Mike, the Will. They learned them all because we knew that in this season, not just for the Browns, but everywhere. You're going to have to be able to adjust, and, and we're going to be great at adjusting and not worrying about what's going on. So Jacob's done a nice job of studying all the positions, and 
it's a competition right now. So the better they play, the more they'll earn. And and you could see combinations of of a lot of these these a lot of our linebackers because there's some things that they all do well and and we're going to use them to the best of their ability. Thank you. You're welcome. Tony Grossi, you have our next question. Hey, uh, speaking of that, Jason, uh, it seems that this 4-2-5 alignment is more of a pass coverage alignment. And I thought I saw B.J. Goodson in that alignment yesterday. Correct me if I'm wrong. But my question is, it seems uh, at Green Bay, he was a first two-down thumper. Does he have the ability to be in that 4-2-5 alignment? Yeah, well, our personnel groups will change based off of what the offense is doing or, you know, the personnel that they have on the field. You know, more wide receivers, sometimes you want to match them with more, more wide receivers. Sometimes you may not, based off of if you want to stop the run by down and distance. So we have packages with three linebackers and two on the field. BJ was in those packages, and he will be. We're rolling everybody through. Uh, I'll give you an example. BJ did a great job in one of those packages on an option route in the red zone where our new tight end is pretty good. And there's a few tight ends out there that are pretty good, big and fast. So they're great to work against. And we're glad they're on our team. Ran a, went, ran a route where he can either go underneath or go vertical, and BJ stayed in perfect position. Uh, he's done a great job of working his body through the off season to where he can do that. So, I'm, and I know BJ was excited about the opportunity here because, you know, we, we want the, we want the players to feel like they're, they're limitless, you know, build your bodies and then learn the positions and, and we'll use you for what you're really good at. And Hey, there's opportunity. So go out and compete. And uh, with Mac Wilson out, is BJ the likeliest guy to be calling signals and to have the uh, coach's uh, headset in his helmet? You know, in our room right now, we're learning, all of us are learning to be able to call the position, call the whole huddle call. There's a few, there's a few of the players that aren't doing as much as others, but we've trained them from the start to be ready to, to make the huddle calls. BJ's done a wonderful job in front of the huddle in camp. So has Tay, so has Jacob, um, mm -hmm. Sioni's, calling out things that he's supposed to call out. And that's, they've been great. And so we've rolled them in groups so that they have to work with a new guy. And it so far, they've, they've just done a great job with that because you don't know who you're going to be next to mm -hmm. uh, all the time in this season. Thanks. You're welcome. Alice Williams, you have our next question. Hey coach, um, aside from, you know, playing hard, getting your guys lined up and stuff like that, the, the simple stuff, um, what roles must your position group achieve in order for you guys to fulfill your overall defensive scheme this season? Well, our, our linebacker mantra is run, shed, and tackle the guy with the ball. So first thing we got to do is at the linebacker position, we got to make the calls and help everybody line up, set the defense. Uh, we've been very good at that so far. That's number one, is we got to make sure all 11 players can play together. And our system allows the linebacker to make those calls pretty quickly here. And the guys have been great at that. So that's one. We got to make sure we're, we're on point mentally so that everybody can play fast. That's one. And then two is what I just said to you. We need to run. Our defense is built on running to the ball. Great defenses run to the ball, attack the ball. And we want to be known for that. Uh, we got to get off of blocks. And this group has put themselves in a position where although there isn't as much NFL video on some of these young men. They're shedding blocks right now. And the key is finishing the down unblocked and getting to the guy with the ball. So if we do those things, those three things, then, then that's our goal, to, to help the defense run and then to make the plays to hustle and to make the plays we're supposed to make by getting off a block. Great. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Appreciate that, Ellis. We'll go to Scott Petrick. Hey, Coach, I know you said that Jacob has – been learning all three spots in the defense. Um, but from a skill set perspective, can he play the will where Mac had been spending so much time? The the will position, a lot of our guys have been playing it, and and he, Jacob is plenty fast enough. The will position, you just gotta you gotta learn your angles when we're in our zones, and you you gotta be able to cover man, uh, you know, tight ends and backs. So we're in the process of evaluating some of those things with Jacob, but so far he's done well. Thank you. And to Nate Ulrich next. Hey coach, with Mac Wilson out, you know, obviously you lose a guy who 
who got that season of starting experience under his belt. And I know you have B.J. Goodson, but after him, it's I think Tay Davis has five stars. Taki Taki has one. So where is your comfort level at in, in projecting these guys as guys you can count on, you know, guys who, who can start? And like you said, not a lot of NFL tape in your room. But where's your comfort level in that you still have guys who, who are going to be able to play despite that lack of experience? Yeah, I think it goes right back to how we train them. And, and it goes right back to, to our coaching philosophy and everything we're trying to do in this building, everything we're, we've set out to do. Plan laid out by Coach Stefanski and Andrew Barry. We're approaching everything one day at a time. So it really is. It's next play is the best play. And we're coaching them that way. And we're expecting them to go fast, be physical, and play so that we can figure out who can learn. And of course, there's times where the lights are going to come on and there's noise in the stadium. Now this year, I don't know if it'll be as much noise, it might be pumped in noise, but we, uh, we're going one day at a time and we're letting them earn it. But there is, some, there is in our room, they've put themselves physically in a position to have a chance by having a great off season. And so far they are shedding and running to the ball. And we're just going to leave it at that. And we're going to, we're going to compete and we're going to let the best man win. And then as coaches, we're going to see what they can do, which we're starting to learn. I won't share all that right now. And then we'll put them in a position to be successful. Tony Gross, your line is open. And this will be our last question for Coach Tarver. Uh, Jason, just to clarify, it sounds like everyone's cross training for every position. And uh, could you say that you might not know who the three guys out there or the two guys are out there to start the Baltimore game until right up until that work week? We got, uh, you know, to, there are guys playing specific positions. Like, like we've mentioned on here, BJ Goodson is in front of the huddle the most and has done a great job. So we know a little bit more of, of how that's going to roll. Uh, but there is, there's a solid, four guys with Sione, Tay, Jacob, and BJ that are all rolling in and, and have a chance and they're mm -hmm. competing. So, uh, but again, we'll use them in certain situations. There are certain things that, that they do well. So some of that we, we will see as we go through and we still got a long time in camp. I mean, it's not as long as a normal camp, but it's, we have some weeks here and most of the schemes in, and we'll see how they keep progressing. If they keep going like we are, we feel like we got a group that, that will do the things we just talked about.